episode of Pinchy House Garage. We're going to install a VR6, MK3 VR6 radiator in our Mark II GTI. So stay tuned because this is Pinchy House Garage. figure out is how you gonna install a Mark II, I mean Mark III VR6 and a Mark II, uh, Mark II GTI. Simple. Get yourself a Fabulous Engineering, uh, Fabulous Manufacturing uh, crossbar with uh, radiator supports obviously and then what you're gonna need to get is their uh, MK3 VR6 uh, brackets for the Mark II. Uh, they come in a little kit and they come with all the brackets you need and then you install them and then we're going to show you how to install a race radiator. We actually got a full-on aluminum race radiator for this car. Uh, it's a little tricky to get it to mount because uh, some of the parts are not exact since it is a universal, kind of a universal or custom-made radiator. We're going to have to sand and grind things down. So we're going to show you what to do next. Um, first thing is actually installing the core support um, and the uh, headlights because that's all part of the front of this right now. And then we're going to show you how to install the fabulous brackets on top so everything lines up accordingly. And then we're going to actually show you what to do with the uh, radiator that we got for it. So now that I got my core support here, we're going to slide this sucker in. Just be careful. And we do have a fresh paint job inside the bay, so we want to keep things clean as possible. Um, on my previous video, we saw us installing this bad boy, this bracket, so uh, you have to actually kind of like put it in, slide it in first, and then mount this guy here, and then get your top screws in. They don't want to be snug, they just got to be in. Then your little tiny screw for the bottom bracket here. Now everything I do right now we hand tighten because um, it will give us the alignment room we need and it gives us all the stuff we need to do to actually uh, manipulate and get everything set correctly as we work on stuff. So, if you see here, here's the radiator support for the lower portion, and then up here, we got these little brackets. Um, I haven't installed them all the way, they're just, like I said, hand tightened. There's one bracket for this side. Here's the other one. Now they have sliders on here because you have to pretty much slide the radiator until it lines up correctly. So we're going to work on that next. So stay tuned for more. We'll be right back. Now you'll see here with the uh, Fabulous VR6 radiator, they give you this, this little kit here. And they give you two top uh, bolts, the bottom little snubs. There's two uh, rubber bushings. I already installed them. They're right here on the radiator. Or grommets, I'm sorry. That's what these go into, and then those go down here to line up the radiator nicely. They give you the two upper bushings. Now, these the only downside with these, which I have a problem with, they're not a problem because of Fabulous providing them, it's because of the radiator that we got. Um, they made these right here, but they're too big, as you can see. So, what we're going to do is manipulate this, we're going to have to actually uh, cut these down. We're going to shave them down from the front so they fit actually correctly. Which isn't not that bad. You just got to shave them down 
from right here cut like about two millimeters into it and then see if it goes all the way down correctly nothing bad crazy bad but that's only downside of uh, buying like a universal not a universal but a aftermarket like race radiator not everything fits 100 percent but pretty dang close we're around 70 <laughs> percent so we're gonna get that uh mocked up and cut up right now and then we'll show you guys how the fitment is with this setup and actually show you how to install the fabulous manufacturing brackets all right so stay tuned so now that we shaved down the radiator now to actually do the install so what we got here is that we install the radiator pretty straightforward oops my bad this way okay now when you get the radiator lined up you have to remember that the brackets uh, you're gonna have to need to break loose the core support and uh, kind of like hold the radiator in place lift it up and go on top of it I know it's kind of weird oh um, let me show you as I do it so um, so you're gonna use the little stubs Get the lower portion set up and the reason why you go to a mark 3 radiator mainly because the coolant lines are on the driver's side if you guys can see this right here just like a mark 4 so when the 1.8 T goes in you can actually use the factory Mark IV uh, radiator hoses to line everything up correctly. And you are going to do a little bit of fabrication, but nothing crazy. And we'll, when we get to that point in installing the motor again, I'll show you what we mean, uh, what we, what I mean about that. Um, so they they give you these little uh, nubs here that go inside the radiator right here down below. So you want to put them on nice and loose this bracket goes in like this on here um, let me get you guys over here just like that it goes right on top just like that pretty simple and that nub stays there now this moves forward and back so you can line it up now the hard part is actually getting a wrench or a ratchet in there so you're going if you don't have your front grill installed um, remove the grill and then you'll be able to do it much easier that way so that's what we're going to do next now I can show you why we need to take off the front grill this gives you the space we need to get that uh, bolted on correctly so what you need to do before you get this actually put on here you want to do the other bracket now now this one is a little weird but not that hard you'll see here and it hooks in underneath just like this And then you got one bolt that holds it in. Just like that. And then obviously again, you're going to put your little bracket. And that bracket, uh, the little stub here, it goes underneath it and then we'll line it all up again. So stay tuned for some Now more. you'll see here, MK3 VR6 radiator now installed using Fabulous, uh, Fabulous Manufacturing's uh, brackets. For, uh, for the VR6 radiator. Uh, I haven't bolted everything down yet, but I want to show you. Since this is kind of like a, a universal, or not universal, but a race uh, radiator that's not 100% like OEM, so it's not going to fit like OEM. So it's not going to fit as great. Don't blame Fabulous for this. You blame the aftermarket radiator, okay? But that being said, it still works really, really well. I'm very impressed on the fitment still. Um, and how firm it is actually on here. Um, I still haven't finished getting everything like lined up the way it's supposed to, but I will get there once I get everything pretty much taken care of on that port uh, portion. But I'm very very happy with the actual fitment of the radiator still. I still got a little bit more work to do, but again, very happy with its fitment. All right. So like I said, uh, tighten everything down. Back to uh, tighten everything down. And then uh, start. We're gonna start doing the next portion, which will actually be uh, we're gonna do the engine, get all that settled, and then we're gonna finish up the. Um, the we're actually we got brake lines coming in, and we got a brake booster and a master cylinder coming in as well. 
Uh, then we're going to show you how to do the fabless uh, clutch kit and the fabless uh, uh, gas pedal as well. It's awesome, awesome setup. So I'm very, very excited. But thanks for watching this episode of Bean Channel's Garage. And thanks again to Fabless Manufacturing to providing, making amazing and quality parts. Peace out.